Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, T-Shirt Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. Back again with Mr. Christopher Sigmund, who is the Sales Manager with Forever Paper. I hope you caught our previous video where we detailed a lot of the features and the functions in the Forever Transfer RIP, which is a useful software tool with your Oki white toner printer that helps you rasterize graphics, reduce the amount of white toner that you use, and save money. Now, as an example here, we show this as an example of rasterization as far as using the software program to break up the graphics, so to speak, to allow a softer hand and more durability. Now the question I have for you, Chris, is we can do this with Forever Low Temp in our Oki White Toner Printer, but can you use these same rasterization features when you're working with your new product, your Forever Flex Soft material? So, let's say that way. The Flex Soft works on a various amount in a lot of different laser printers. So not necessarily only with the Okis. The Okis are a great choice, but some of you might have a Canon, a Brother, an HP, or whatever, you name it. And the Transfer RIP software works only with the Oki white and laser printers. So we worked out a different solution to make this possible. Okay, how'd you do it? So let me just show you an example over here. This here is the rasterization. In this case, we used the green guy Hulk from the Marvel comics and put the half tone raster in here, as you can see. Very soft hand, actually unreadable with regular heat transfer vinyl. So what you're going to need is regular Photoshop that you can even try as a 30 days trial version and just play around with it, test it. Okay. And the flex of transfer media that we show over here. It comes in a various amount of different colors that you can see over there. It contains an A foil in the color of choice, in that case, yellow and the B sheet. So what you're going to need is a so-called Photoshop action script. So we created an action script that makes the makes life for you easy. Oh, I get it. Because we're not dealing with a multicolor process job, we're only printing with one single color when we're working with flex off yes. material. So we don't necessarily need the transfer rip to achieve the rasterization. You've got it in a macro that you can use in Photoshop? Exactly. Okay. Rasterization with four colors is much, much more complicated for the software. You really need to be a Photoshop Pro. You might can do it. You don't necessarily get the same results if it's a transfer rip, but it's complicated and it's time consuming. Okay. So well, I am not a Photoshop Pro, so me, me we'll probably <laughs> need some help here. Yeah, that's easy. So, we're here in our web browser. So I typed in www.whitetonertransfer.com and this is here the main screen. So what you find here is infos about different transfer meters like Flexsoft, like Transfer RIP, the Laser Dark Low Temp and so on. And also a support center over here on the right corner. We go down to Downloads, wait a few seconds, and then we found a download menu. In this download menu, there is also a Photoshop action script, how to rasterize images for flex of no cut. You click on the link here below and you are ready to rasterize those images in just three steps. Download it, double click it when you downloaded it and it automatically implements into your Photoshop version. So now I do have here my Photoshop CS6 opened up already. So to create a new rasterized image, we make sure that the, the square over here is in 100% black. And that's our background that's color. That's our background color. Same as the foreground color, also black. So what we're going to do, we create a new file, create new. I do have a preset over here, which is pr pretty simple, 1117, 300 dpi resolution, CYK color, and background content in background color, which is black. I said OK. We're now working on an 11 to 17 or respectively 8.511 background. And now we're ready to implement a graphic. This action script is great for selfies as well for other different graphics. So let's gonna work with a selfie over here. I do like to work with my portrait of Fiona over here. I can just drag it over or we just embed it resize it, this size here is perfect, and now we have our picture. What we can see over here, we do have a black background 
that picture already. That is our work in Photoshop. When we do have any different colored background, it will either print that background as well, or we have to remove it with the pencil tool later on. So, how do I apply the action script over here? So what we're going to do is we go to Windows, and then we go to Actions. Or we can just click Alt and F9. This opens up this window over here. When we double click the action script and implement it into Photoshop, we can scroll down in our menu and find here the FSNC raster. FSNC stands for Flex of No Cut. And we have th here three different points. These three different points are all individual steps combined in a certain order. So when we open the raster steps, these are all steps that Photoshop does automatically for you as soon as you click the play button. So all those steps are pre-programmed, so to speak, as part of the action. Exactly. We wanted to make it for the users as easy as possible. So now we have our image set up in here. We're going to mark grayscaling and sharpening and push the play button over here. It asks us to rasterize and to flatten, so we say OK and OK. Now we have, to, now we have grayscaled the image. Because on FlexSoft, we just transfer black or white tones, no colors. The color will come from the sheet later on. What we can do over here, when, when we like to increase the contrast, depending on how our image looks like. So now it's got a little bit clearer. Let's say we, want, we have any part that we don't like to have in our image. Let's say it's for the grandmother. And we can remove some parts of it by using the pencil tool over here and just going over it. And we can get it back just by con alt control set. So when we are happy with our image, we go to the third step, raster, push play again, wait a short moment, and now we have a negative image of, of our selfie. So we, let me zoom in. Now we can see all those half tones. What we also can see is all the dark parts of the image are replaced by shirt color. In that case, nothing printed, because we're printing this later on on a black t-shirt. And all the light parts, like your perfect white teeth, are fully printed. So when we would use now a solid white flex soft or a neon color flex soft, in orange, for example, everything that is printed here in black will turn out orange or white or neon green, whatever flex of this color we decide for. This is almost ready to print. Almost the only thing that we have to do right now is go to Image, Image Rotation, and flip the canvas horizontally. So the image is already mirrored. On some printers, we can do it in a printer driver, but as a, fact, as a matter of fact, we can use many, many different printers. Not all printer drivers have a mirror setting. I prefer to do it in Photoshop. I agree with you. I would rather mirror or reverse my graphic in my graphic software than relying on the driver to do it, because that way I know it's done right. So it not only works with selfies, it works also in multicolor graphics. I just close that one. Like here, that Marvel picture that I preloaded in. Remember, this action script is designed for dark t-shirts, like a black, like a dark gray, a dark blue which is the most common case. Everything that is white or light colored in the image will be printed more or less solid. Everything that's dark will be taken out. So sometimes it is necessary to make some slight adjustments. To do, the, to do an adjustment, we first have to rasterize the image. And then go here into Image, Adjustments, Brightness, and Color. So as again, the lighter something is, the more solid it appears. The darker something is, the more of the image will be taken out. This image, out of experience, is quite good the way it is like this. Again, the same steps, grayscaling, rasterizing, and flattening. Now it's grayscaled. We can increase contrast when we like to, so we get a little bit sharper. And we push the raster button again. So let me zoom in.
So now we can see Spider-Man swinging around. The light part of Deadpool's background is now solid, but we can still recognize Deadpool as a single color image. We have Wolverine over here. We do have Iron Man over there. What do you say, Doc? It looks good. Um, I think it's really neat that the FlexSoft can capture this type of detail in that graph. Yeah, that's the strong point of, of laser dark B paper combined with the flex of A folds. It can pick, grab these little details with ease. That's why we can do this, these kind of designs, which you can't do with any technique else except screen printing. Absolutely. And you like the, the American flag, right? Yeah, I thought the American flag was a great graphic. Can we work with that one as yes. a single color design? Of course, here I prepared this one. Let me show you how this worked. We create a new one, a new file again. We use our template, quite basic, 1117, background color, in that case black. And we're looking for our graphic. I do have it somewhere over here. There it is. Drag it over. There's our graphic. As you can see, the flag is a little bit small and has a white text that doesn't fit to our design. So we're going to hold the Shift button and make it a little bit bigger. There we are. We push Enter, and here we go. We're going to grayscale it again, rasterize and flatten it. So now this is our image. When we do have parts that we don't like, we can take the pencil tool again and just remove something with black color. That's why we're choosing the front color black over here. That little piece here. So, now we can, let's try it to raster it as it is and see how it comes out. So now we can see that the text over here is not really good readable. So what we can do is we're going to con hold Control and Alt and push Set a couple of times to reverse the image, the effect, and we're back again. So we do some small adjustments in the brightness. In this case, we would like to have a bit more brightness. To make sure that the text stands out against yeah. the background. I see. There we are. So it's quite easy. With Control, Alt, and Set, we can go all the steps back, readjust it, and as it's just a couple of clicks in the action script, very easy to do. So image, image rotation, horizontal and ready to print. It's that easy. So, let's say you forgot how this works. I got one more gimmick for you. Okay. So when you go to blacktonertransfer.com, also on the support page on downloads, you will find this menu over here as a download in German and in English. It looks like this over here. So it shows every step that I've just done with pictures. It helps you to reproduce it whenever you like to. So Doug, that's how easy it is. Well, I have a question for you, Chris. The graphics we, we've been working with have been single color designs. Is there any way that you could set up a multicolor design if you were using, let's say, two colors of Flexsoft? Of, of course. What's important over here is that you start with the darker color first and then put the lighter color on top. Okay, that makes sense. I do have actually prepared a graphic like this. Let me just jump into it. So this here is for example a two color design. So what we've done over here, 
we do have this here as the darker color. This is supposed to be silver later on. So when we zoom in, we did it with the same technique. Rasterize that image. In this case, this will be silver. We have here a space holder for the another color. And this here is the text. Also rasterized. We zoom in. We can lay that on top of each other. You just need to be a bit more skilled in Photoshop than I am. I got you. And also, as we're talking about putting one color on top of another, we're also talking about basically eyeball registration on the graphic or on the garment itself, correct? Exactly. Okay. So that's why we're going darkest color, then lighter, because it will be easier to see through the lighter colors so we can line it up over the first color we lay down. That's, that's exactly the reason. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's make up this design because I think this design is going to look really cool. Okay, cool. I'll print those out and I'm going to meet you at the heat press. Okay. Wow, you can really feel the difference that this rasterization makes on this Forever Flex Soft material. It definitely softens the hand of the feel of the garment. That is a really cool effect. So make sure to tell us where we can get this Photoshop plugin again. It's quite easy. There's a web page called whitetonertransfer.com. So go to www.whitetonertransfer.com. That's where you find this Photoshop plugin for free. Fantastic. Chris, I really appreciate you taking the time to show us this rasterization feature. I also understand you've been working on some vintage effects that you can create using a Photoshop uh, script and using the FlexSoft material. You think you might have time to show us that? It's actually not only Photoshop, it works in Photoshop, Illustrator, and CorelDRAW, and absolutely, I got time for that. Well, I guess we'll just have to do another video while we got Chris here. Really appreciate Christopher Sigmund from Forever Paper taking the time to show everyone these neat effects that you can generate with this Photoshop plugin. So make sure to tune in to our next video, which is showing vintage effects generated. Until then, I'm Doug DeWitt, your T-shirt transfer paper product manager here at Condi Systems. Our time's up. We thank you for yours.